The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. Improving access to housing and providing support services needs to be addressed through new and innovative approaches. Better aligning social benefits with delivery through innovative procurement strategies is examined in this research in order to identify social procurement criteria which can assist those developing social policy and delivering social and affordable housing in Australia. This research builds on that already undertaken with the SBE NRC Social Housing Program of Research, especially around the nine domains which form the basis of our strategic evaluation framework. To do this, we are looking at three parallel areas of research, including changing population demographics, and the associated need for new community and housing typologies. Secondly, traditional and emerging social procurement approaches. And finally, possible funding and financing methods. The development of the final criteria has also been informed by a 360 survey of over 30 participants across Australia, and also three case studies in WA, New South Wales and Queensland. The research project has actually done a number of things. For one thing, it's been looking at the demographics and how things have actually changed over time so that we can see what adjustments we might need to have made for stock uh, and the different considerations that we have because we're dealing with a totally different population than we were 20 years ago. WA has a long history of offering a diverse range of products, historically through the Housing Authority and now the Department of Communities and working with things like our shared equity products that we deliver with different developers, the loans that we offer through Keystart as well, right through to looking at affordable rentals to try and help people who aren't really in the public housing side of things but aren't quite where they can look after themselves in the private market either. So it's more than just a one size fits all, it's looking at what works in different situations and seeing how different that is across Australia and what we can actually learn from both Australia and internationally. Demographics of People in need of housing have been changing and broadening uh, over the last 20 years because population is aging. And there is also a, a higher number and variety of households. We see single person groups, sole parent households, and multi-generational households as well. This is then uh, putting pressure on the, on the system and, um, and widening the mismatch of, of what is offered and what is needed. So we have to, to think about uh, innovative approaches to providing housing for this diversity of people in need. The research pointed out that precinct scale is more appropriate because in this kind of precincts, we can offer this diversity of dwellings. What is needed is not only affordable housing, but it is providing affordable living. These precincts have to be located near, near a transport, public transport, near social facilities and services, near a green open spaces to um, to build a, a sustainable and resilient um, environment. Several procurement approaches have been identified relevant to delivering both economic and social outcomes related to improved housing provision. These include the more traditional approaches such as public housing transfers and renewal and emerging approaches such as pop-up shelters and social benefit bonds. Some of the traditional approaches are also evolving to address new needs and demands, and some which have a strong history in some states, such as shared equity in Western Australia, are now emerging models in other states, such as Queensland and Victoria. 19 criteria are being looked at for evaluating social procurement approaches. These can help decision makers when considering both policy and delivery options for procuring social and affordable housing and wraparound services ranging across five key areas from a systems focus to a person focus and integrating flexibility through responsiveness to both the person and the location and scalability as and where appropriate. Three case studies have been used to highlight what well-developed policy can contribute 
to on-the-ground social and affordable housing outcomes. In New South Wales, public housing renewal was looked at in the context of the Human Services Outcome Framework and the Ivanhoe Redevelopment Project. In Queensland, social benefit bonds and youth foyers were looked at in the context of the Queensland Housing Strategy. And in WA, the journey from the Affordable Housing Aiming Higher Strategy brought together federal funding, the Key Start Shared Equity Program and multi-sector partnerships has produced outcomes such as the One on Aberdeen Project. These were chosen to provide a broad sample of social procurement approaches with which to test the criteria and to illustrate how they can be used to deliver policy, projects and program outcomes. Keystart has been really proud to participate in a research project that's brought together industry players with government, with academic researchers, in order to identify some practical solutions that can be used to help more Australians access the social and affordable housing that they need. The research has shown that traditional forms of procurement need to be supplemented with more innovative forms of procurement and financing, like key starts, low deposit home loans and shared equity. I'd encourage local, state, federal governments, planners, advocates, and of course industry to read the research and be inspired with fresh thinking about how to provide for the needs of every Australian. Thank you.